Hi everyone, welcome back to Aim at Melanoma series, Melanoma 101. I'm Melissa Wilson, physician assistant and Aim at Melanoma's Ask an Expert. Today on Melanoma 101, we're gonna be talking about who should be tested for the BRAF mutation. So if you watched our other video, you now know what the BRAF mutation is and why it's important for melanoma. If you still don't know, you should go back and watch that video. But in this particular video, we're going to be talking about who should be tested for this BRAF mutation. Well, this is pretty simple. Because the BRAF mutation can be seen in about 50% of cutaneous melanomas, really the BRAF mutation should be tested for in those same patients. So any patient that has a cutaneous or a melanoma arising from the skin can and should be tested for the BRAF mutation. Um, we don't typically see the BRAF mutation present in other types of melanoma, and those other types include ocular melanomas or melanomas arising from the eye, hand and foot melanomas, which are called acrolentigenous melanomas, or in melanomas that, were, that are um, arising from the mucosal surface. And the mucosal surface are essentially um, the inside lining of your mouth, um, the inside lining of your nose, the inside lining of your anus, rectum, or your vagina. So those are all mucosal surfaces. We don't see BRAF mutations present in ocular acrolentigenous and mucosal melanomas. This is primarily seen in cutaneous or skin melanomas. And again, about 50% of those skin melanomas will have a BRAF mutation. As you know from our prior video, um, the most common BRAF mutation is V600E, but you can also have mutations in V600K, and then there are a couple of other mutations that we sometimes see in melanoma as well um, that really aren't as active as the as BRAF V600E and K. Um, what's also important to remember about the BRAF mutation and you know how it helps us decide who should be tested um, is that Melanoma has several treatment options that are available. There's targeted therapy, radiation, surgery, uh, immunotherapy. Um, so there are a wide variety of treatment options that are available. Having the BRAF mutation does offer you additional uh, treatment options. And so this is something that's extremely important to know, especially prior to starting treatment, either in a stage three or a stage four setting. So something to keep in mind, it's very important to establish the BRAF mutation um, prior to starting treatment. But again, you can do this at any point in time during your melanoma journey from diagnosis all the way, um, you know, years and years later. Um, and that the reason for that and the reason that you can test at any time is that the mutation doesn't typically change. So if you have the BRAF mutation present for, say, V600E when you're diagnosed, um, that's not going to change if you develop metastases later down the road and vice versa. If you're wild type or you do not have the mutation, that's not likely to change um, as your melanoma journey progresses. So the mutations are pretty consistent no matter when you test them. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that you want to test um, earlier. You want to ask for this test to be done early. Um, it doesn't mean that if you don't do it at diagnosis, that's not something that you can do later down the road. It certainly is possible. Um, but the reason that you want to test early is that this mutation is present in a gene. And genetic testing um, or testing this in the DNA does take a little bit of time. So there are different testing um, methods that can be used. Um, but generally speaking, we tell patients that it takes um, a few weeks to get results back for the BRAF mutation because it is, in fact, you know, a DNA or genetic test. Um, sometimes we have to acquire pathology slides in order to do this testing. So, you know, it's something that you may not be able to learn in a few hours or a few days. That's not um, the typical timing of this test. So the reason that we say test early is that you don't want to be waiting for the results of this test when you need them the most. So, you know, because the mutation doesn't change, um, really having this information before you need it is also a really smart, very proactive way to approach your treatment plan. 
So to summarize, um, who should be tested for the BRAF mutation? Anyone who has a cutaneous or skin melanoma. You want to make sure that you talk to your healthcare provider about performing this test as it is a DNA test that has to be done through the pathology department. Um, so you want to ask your healthcare provider about this early in diagnosis. But again, if that doesn't happen, you can do this really at any time because that mutation doesn't change over the course of your melanoma journey. Um, and really, this is extremely important to know prior to starting treatment, um, as it does offer additional treatment options. So I hope from listening to this video, you now know who it's important to test for BRAF mutations. Um, please come back and join us. If you have questions, please reach out. Um, I'm Melissa Wilson, and this is Melanoma 101.